So my dad has a great story that he was playing tennis at a local neighborhood club, and he was playing with Natural Gut, which was the finest strings at the time. Natural Gut did not have a coating on it, so that meant when it rains or it was damp out, you didn't want to play with that string because it would dry the string out and it would break prematurely. It started to sprinkle and rain, so he went to his backup racket, which was nylon. And I went from winning the match actually losing it. And I couldn't believe how poorly the uh, new strings played compared to natural gut. And I figured, how oh, there's got to be a better way. Being a nuclear engineer, he decided to do some experimentation, and he found out that if I irradiated them with gamma rays, it could make it be more resilient and play more like natural gut. So he started selling the string in 1976 cardboard boxes filled with tennis strings started filling up our basement. Sales really kind of took off right from the start. People would come from all around. Put the check in the front door of his house and the screen door and the string would be sitting there and you just walk away and just make sure you dropped it off for him. We sold so much string in such a short period of time. I mean, we were processing it around the clock down here. I remember bringing a bunch of pieces and we'd bring in a couple cases of beer and we'd sit down there and we'd, we'd roll through five, 6,000 packs of gamma strings. Dr. Harry Ferrari is, because if we run out of TNT, we're gonna close the door. So he didn't want to run out, so we didn't. We were rated starting in 1977 as the number one tennis string and had a streak of 23 straight years of being number one, at which point they kind of gave up having the contest. Built on the success of Gamma String, my dad added Gamma Grips, Ball Hopper products, cord equipment line. It allowed us to diversify in so many areas because now people could use us as their one-stop shop. I mean, there really wasn't a reason for a club to go somewhere else. I really believe that you can walk into any tennis facility in the United States, you're gonna see a Gamma product. It was really interesting to just see it grow and grow and grow. And then finally we were able to build this building on Washington's Landing. I guess it was around 2014, I, I went to call on a big chain. I'm going through all the tennis stuff and, and they go, Chuck, do you have any more time? We want to talk pickleball. We think this would be perfect for you. Well, it's funny you say that because there's three or four accounts that are buying a lot of grip and they're using it for pickleball. All of a sudden your number adds up to like over 200,000 grips. I said, wait a minute, what's going on with pickleball? We need to get more involved. Paddles just started to sell. People were happy to see that we were getting into it. We've been just like a sponge, taking everything in. And I think we're one of the experts now. People come to us for advice. They understand we make a really good product. We also work with several pros that are on our team. We want them to really be a part of the family and do help drive product development. We don't like to put stuff out into the marketplace just to do it. We want to make sure it's driving performance or providing something and solving a problem for the consumer. Another thing I'm proud of is our Gamma Classic, which is our annual tournament that is a partnership with the Parkinson's Foundation. We hope to hit close to 1,000 players this year, so that's been really exciting. This year, we introduced the Never Stop Playing Pickleball Camps. So whether they're new to the sport or looking to improve their game, again, it's a natural fit for us in improving the everyday athlete. In the next five years, I see us really exploding in pickleball and moving into things like baseball and hockey and lacrosse. And, uh, you know, we're always excited to learn from consumers that they're using our products for some other sport or some other use. So that's been really fun. We're a small organization as far as the number of people that we have. So there's a tremendous opportunity for people to learn and grow and be involved in all aspects of the business, which I think is fairly unique and does create a little bit of that family feel and culture. I think it's more of a, a family, a team. That's the nice thing about it. Hearing that we feel like a family, that really warms my heart. I think that we're doing the right things and we're doing them with the right people. A few years ago, we landed on a phrase that I love, never stop playing. Gamma's specialty or Gamma's uniqueness is the everyday athlete and trying to help those people improve. We've got products from young children through you know, senior citizens. So we thought Never Stop Playing really captured the essence of, of Gamma Sports. Tennis and pickleball, I, I got two lifetime sports that I shouldn't have any issue with.